When I, when I was hearing, I was a very, very confident, outgoing person. I loved meeting new people, going to social situations. When I started to lose my hearing, everything changed and became very, very different. I got Meniere's disease and I had, I had the first symptoms when I was about 33, um, but then it kind of, nothing really happened. Um, I would say probably for about seven years and then suddenly it hit me with a vengeance and I lost a massive amount of hearing very, very quickly within a couple of months. I just felt completely isolated and lost. I couldn't hear what was going on. I didn't want to go out anymore because, partly because I was falling all over the place. I looked like a drunk. If you have a many as attack, you can stagger down the road and then fall. I think when she first lost her hearing, we were quite surprised, quite shocked as well, because she'd been so outgoing and, and quite lively and did lots of things and had lots of contacts. And obviously as a teacher, was very busy, very engaged, and suddenly things were very different. I, I was forced to give up work and I stopped working completely. Um, and as a result of that, I, you know, I had a breakdown. I, I just didn't see any point in life anymore. When I first met Zena, it felt very strange because I'd never really been a, a huge dog person. And Zena was quite a mad thing. She was just like a big ball of black fur rushing around the room. But as we got to know her, think, and, and you know, we've had her some years now, and she's changed, she's mellowed, she's... Uh, calm down. She's enabled me to go back to work and she's given me the confidence to know that I can be the same as everyone else, that if a fire alarm goes off in school, I'm not going to be lost and bewildered because Zena's going to let me know. And when I teach in school or even out in public, she impacts on every single person that we meet. I've known Miss President like a long time and she's like a second mum, to be honest. She's lovely. It's great having Zena in a class because it's comforting having an animal as well. She's always well behaved and, yeah, she's never had any trouble. You know, I've taught in some very difficult schools with some very, very challenging pupils, but they all love Zena. And one of my head teachers said I'd walk along a corridor and there would be a sea of hands following me and they'd be stroking Zena. And I just think that dog touches the lives of probably 800 people a day. And she's a very, very special dog. When I had my hearing, um, I was life and soul of the party, very hard working. It was very physical work. Um, and then obviously on a Friday, I would go out with some friends and meet them for a drink and have a good laugh about, you know, the whole week basically. So yeah, work was brilliant. Stephen was um, traveling in his car to Northamptonshire um, with his girlfriend, Lydia. I don't rem have any memory at all of the accident. Um, I remember leaving my parents' house to go and visit some friends. Uh, the journey was two hours long. I don't remember the journey at all. It turned out that Stephen had four head fractures and three neck fractures. And um, unfortunately, Lydia died in the accident um, instantly. We made our way to Addenbrooke's hospital and I know it sounds crazy to say, but there was an ambulance in front of me travelling at one o'clock in the morning, and I knew my son was in that ambulance. And I wanted to get out of the car and just run and be with him. And because my head injuries were so severe, my mind was basically on another planet, shall we say. At the time I realised I lost my hearing was probably two or three months after my accident, after I woke up from a coma. And I felt very isolated from the world, not being able to go out and socialise with friends. He was almost totally dependent on me for a couple of years. You know, I was his ears. I remember the day Mum said to me that I've been nominated to get a hearing dog and it was the best feeling in the world because I've always loved dogs. Echo, we've got this massive understanding about each other. If Echo is sad, I feel sad. If I'm feeling happy, Echo's feeling happy. So we've got this tremendous bond between ourselves. He's so much more confident now. He goes out, he'll go to the pub. He plays golf again since his balance is impaired. That's been very difficult, but he's gradually playing more golf 
um, and that's his big love. I love telling people exactly what the hearing dog does for me. They're taken back by what she can do for me due to Echo giving me the confidence. I found a girlfriend that I never thought I'd find again due to my self-esteem, um, my hearing loss and balance. But my girlfriend's brilliant. She understands that Echo is part of the family and where I go, Echo goes. Yeah, she's my world. I think prior to Violet's arrival, um, he was very isolated. He found it difficult to interact with other children. Um, when he went out into the garden, he was quite a lonely child. You had to entertain him as adults. And the problem you have is with a deaf child. There's so many different things that you, you can't do. I mean, you can't talk to them at distance. You can't shout them at distance. Um, they don't know you're there because they can't hear you moving around. You know, he'd be upstairs quite a lot of the time, playing by himself, very quiet. You know, he'd run upstairs and say, you know, are you okay, is everything all right? Yeah, I'm fine, I'm just sort of, you know, just doing this. God, what can I do, what can I do? Well, before in my world, when I went out on my bike on my own, my parents got scared that I might get lost, have an accident or a crash. They'd worry and panic. It was a bit of a problem in my life, things like that. Since Violet arrived, she, well, we've just all gelled together. Well, I think we've all become a lot closer, more understanding of each other. Uh, we do a lot more together. I know? think we've got Jason pinned on a lead as well now. Yeah. The beauty is the dog's there. He yeah. now tends to stay with us. Even though he's got older, he, he's now much more uh, confident with the, yeah. with the dog in hand. Before, life was quite boring. I had nothing to do. When Violet came, I started having fun. I started to enjoy life, go out more, take her for walks, or go for a run, play and laugh. I feel good and enjoy my life now. I think with Violet being here, we do relax more as a family and we're a team. My family all love Violet. She's like a brother or a best friend. It's great. We have a really close bond. Before I felt a bit strange. Then things started to change and my life started to improve. Our bond grew and we started to help each other. I think Jason has changed quite a lot. You know, he is so he, so confident. People don't now sort of ignore him when, you know, they talk to him and they don't know that he's deaf. They can't see his hearing aids. Often he won't wear his hearing aids. But by having the dog, that tells people they see the dog, they can see the disability, and they make allowances for him now in a way that they didn't used mm. to. So, yeah, we do feel confident about what he can do now. Yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs>